up like this and the club the throat like this, okay? Now it's if you got to understand if you don't hold your chest like that, yeah, it's got a problem. Yeah? And you pull the finger and this and that, it's fucking hurting and can't breathe as well what you're gonna need to dealing with this guy, okay? So soon as I happen here like this, you got to get used to this like that. Hand like this, yeah? Move and keep the finger like this, grab like this, thing mm. together like that, okay? And then from there, up him up, and then, and then you start dealing with him. You're okay. watching for this, and you have to watch him there. Then make sure is, you you're watching him right now. Then nice when I upload the new video, if you, you will get the notification. You're cool at that already. Otherwise, okay, you're let's start uh, learning. Uh, uh, <laughs> you already, you see, you already got a problem. A lot of time when you're training with this thing, yeah, somebody grab you, yeah, just touch you, you didn't put your finger like this. No, that grab like that. It's hard. When it came in, so you gotta get used to this. Ma, in school, sometime in school, when you're doing this kind of movement, they grab hold of you, they grab you like this on the neck, and you can't breathe, and sometimes suffocate. So when you're in school, go through like this, and then you finger this hand grab to make sure the support first. This hand come like this, okay, like this, and that will be turn itself. See, you see, it turn itself to a turn. That open now. When you have to hear, you grab by the finger, okay. Same thing, grab by the finger, like that, and then you break it because you got two now like here, and you go like this with him, okay. From there, and that way it become a lot more easier. Interesting throw grab. Now I do so many different throw grab already, but this one I'll talk to you about again. Sometimes you get a lot of time people pissing you off and they want to grab your throat and try to squeeze the living daylight out of you on especially this occasion on the throat like this. In your situation, what do you do? For me, I've broken a finger to make sure they can't play with the hand. What do you do on this situation? Are you gonna go and do the same thing or you gonna do something very different? If you are, comment below here and tell me what is it you do it is different. So I can learn something new from that. Comment below and tell me about it. And then you can move him, get rid of him like this, or you wanna do something. But reality term is you just yank and accidentally broken a finger that will done the job. Now I remember that time, when I'm standing there and he come and he push me to the show, boom, here, you know, and I go boom here like this, I literally, boom like this, and I break it, both the thumb, the one thumb like this, and then this finger here, like this, yes, like both like that, and I turn like this, literally, go, I heard like go, like this, and I sit there and look at him, and his face start to winching like all the time, and then I just move him out of the way, and then I move out of the way, and go straight away. People don't even know what's going on. Oh, I hear just my the finger like that, and I said, "What the fuck is that going on?" I thought like um, old woman, uh, but the bone it's been cracking, you know. And that's what happened in school time when you start doing thing at school. Okay, if you're doing this kind of movement, their finger is hurting. It's not too bad, but if you start to punching, kicking, and all this kind of movement. They will see visually, they will see you. And the most important thing you got to understand as well is safety of yourself. Now, safety of yourself is when your hand, when this hand push, you don't go, see? See my head? Problem, yeah? So push, you, you go like this already, then at least you ah, don't hurt me. Motherfucker. Now then, finger broken like this is a good strategy. Is it a good way to deal with your enemy? You know, I love to broken their finger because they're gonna grab hold and point at me. I make sure they're not gonna point anywhere or they're not gonna play with their butt ever again. So this is my strategy. What is your strategy to dealing with this person here if they're broken, point at your finger at you and start to squeeze the living daylight out of you? Comment below here and tell me. Hopefully, I learned something new today. You bastard. Uh, you know why I hate people pointing the finger at me, motherfucker? Why are you pointing at me the finger at me for? Huh? Trust me, I won't do it again. You don't do it again? No. You wanna don't do it again? No. I'm gonna break your goddamn finger, you'll never do it again in your rest of your life. No, piss off. Yeah? So the idea is a principle the same. You control, you understand, and you don't get your head in there. If your head if you've got something like this, for instance, like kind of thing like this or anything like that, that will land in there. That crack your head open. 
it, you're gonna have big problem. And second thing, you have to tense, okay? If you don't, you go like this and you can't breathe, okay? So let's go one more slow one and then I can uh, I'll finish. Now the idea is when the hand turn and this hand, while you're turning like this, see? So soon and that is open, yeah? So you can see soon, hand here, Open, see? It open. Now you see my got a thumb straight away. Yeah, so hand. If I go, you see? <coughs> it's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna use it like this. See my hand as that here, and that touch, and could grab that straight away. And then I will control. Now when I control this, this hand, you see my hand here bend like this, so elbow. It's, it's difficult. Oh, no, so I bend it a little bit like this. So difficult for him to hurt me. Hit me. Nah, hurt me. Nah, nah. <laughs> so he won't be able to hurt you because you control your body and line like this. Okay? And then all you got to do is you put him in place like this and he will be in situation you want. And then if you want to hurt him more, turn, turn, and then, nah, 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 nah. And then you're going to break it. Okay? And that's all this. Now, piss off! If you like it, and if you love it, and you want to know more, you can go to our website, masterwong.tv, and then you can use in that uh, website here to either talk to me, message me, and you can ask me any question you want to ask me about training, and I will be here to answer you. Otherwise, you can check out our website and spend a little bit of time, look through the website and see what is suitable for you, and then you can start learning and start training today to make sure no one will bully you ever again. So have a beautiful time and have a beautiful day and make sure every day it's your beautiful day. Master Wong here, and I'll see you on next lesson. Out!